I don't know if you heard this morning on the news I did about uh, the U.S. Army doing some kind of, um, I don't know, some kind of tournament of uh, people who play games. Uh, I, I have nephews and cousins who play these games. I've never played one, but uh, I know they're quite addictive and probably quite exciting. Uh, more people play them, I think, than uh, certainly they go to movies or theaters. Hundreds of thousands play them all over the world. And the U.S. Army, followed closely, of course, by our army, are now creating kind of competitions and stuff to bring the young people in and, uh, and of course, introduce them to the army. Why? Because they need these technical skills. Will they, I wonder, explain to the young players the difference between playing uh, a game on your computer and actually doing something like a drone that kills real people? I don't know. It's the latest recruiting technique, isn't it? And it made me think of this beautiful song, one of my favorite songs, uh, which I'm going to dare to sing to you tonight, as every good uh, comedy show ends with a song. Huh? Um, it's, a, it's a song that was uh, an anti-recruiting song, perhaps one of the best ones from the 19th century, <clears throat> collected in Ireland, first of all, in the 1840s, uh, and maybe from Donegal. Its title is Arthur McBride. You probably know it. And McBride apparently is a popular name in Donegal, but also a popular name in uh, Scotland. I know it because of the wonderful uh, version by Paul Brady and Andy Irvin. Uh, and I recommend it highly uh, for you to have a listen and, and, and uh, buy a copy for yourself. You probably will want it. <clears throat> but here, I'm going to give you this song. Oh, oh, me and my cousin, one Arthur McBride, while we were out walking down by the seaside. Now mark what followed and what did betide, for it be an on Christmas morning. Out for recreation we went on a tramp and we met Sergeant Napper and Corporal Vamp and a little wee drummer intending to camp for the day being pleasant and charming. Good morning, good morning, the sergeant he cried and the same to you gentlemen we did reply intending no trouble but meant to pass by for it being on christmas morning but says he my fine fellows if you will enlist it's ten guineas in gold i will slip in your fist and a crown in the bargain for to kick up the dust and drink the king's health in the morning for a soldier he leads a very fine life and he always is blessed with a charming young wife he pays all his debts without sorrow or strife and always lives pleasant and charming and a soldier he always is decent and clean in the finest of clothing he is constantly seen while other poor fellows go dirty and mean and sup on thin gruel in the morning but says arthur i wouldn't be proud of your clothes for you've only the lend of them as i suppose and you dare not change them one night for you know if you do you'll be flogged in the morning and although that it's true we are single and free well we take great delight in our own company and we have no desire strange faces to see although that your offers are charming and we have no desire to take your advance all hazards and dangers we barter on chance for you would have no scruples but to send us to france where we would get shot without a warning. 
Oh no, says the sergeant, I'll have no such chat, and I neither will take it from spalpin or brat, for if you insult me with one other word, I'll cut off your heads in the morning. And then Arthur and I, well, we soon drew our hearts, and we scarce gave them time to draw their own blades when a trusty shillelagh came over their heads and bid them take that as fair warning and the two rusty rapiers that hung by their sides we flung them as far as we could in the tide now take them up devils cried arthur mcbride and sharpen their edge in the morning and the little weed runner we flattened his bow and we made his football into a rowdy do do threw it in the tide for to rock and to roll and bad it a tedious returning and we having no money we paid them in cracks and we paid no respect to their two bloody backs for we lathered them there like a pair of wet sacks and left them for dead in the morning and so to conclude and to finish disputes we obligingly asked if they needed recruits for we were the lads that would harden their clouts and bid them look smart in the morning yes oh my cousin and i one north the McBride, while we were out walking down by the seaside. Now mark what followed and what did betide, for it be in on Christmas morning. My favorite Christmas song. Merry Christmas to you all.